So we'll just put the St. Cherries. And it's all fresh produce. There's some nice stuff here for the grannies, for the nannies. Pallet that goes in will go to High Street. I just want to make sure that the elderly can have these. So I'll have fresh fruit, fresh cauliflower, peas. Order for the tamanga. Rangi hiki te awa. Māmari te waka, manako te marae, te rārawa nō te au pauri, te hapu. Ko Matarora Smith, tako ingoa. Badge 5130. Growing up, we didn't have wardens on our marais. We didn't have wardens at all. We didn't know what Māori wardens were. Probably because of our small community, justice and law was done by the old people. In the 2007, I'd lived in Australia for the 20 years before that. I wanted to stay in Australia and make money. The wairu was telling me, come home, but I kept fighting and saying, nah, I don't want to come home. And then uh, all of a sudden I went, oh, my grandchildren are at home. I better go home. Come back from Australia. Wanted to help out on this uh, Māori Warden project walkthrough that was happening through the police. But to do the, the work, I had to become a Māori Warden. <laughs> We've got two pallets of apples. So, Virginia, we're going to put these in there. Yep. We're, these are for High Street, or the last pallet's these going to be for High Street. These. So, my role now is Chief Executive of Tamaki Kitatonga District Māori Wardens, Tamaki Makoto Māori Wardens, and the CE for our regional body, which is now put a Watane Māori or Turopu Kotahi. So in that pallet will be ice cream, frozen gears. The request for today's food parcels. Yeah, that's good. And what we'll do is pick up bulk food from Kiwi Harbour, pack them into parcels for our delivery. So lay your truck down on these boys. Can, that boy can thing it. In a month, we do up to 500 food parcels. Thank you. And, and that's just from Tamaki Ki to Tonga. Getting a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> we well, gonna have enough room for these. I'll, I'll move them, cos that's my part. <laughs> you know, we'll get families at eight or ten just hit bottom of the road that week for Kai. Just put the rest of my food. As a CE, the job, it's never ending. I live, breathe, eat and sleep it seven days a week. In the amount of years, I'm still a newbie to a lot of um, other wardens. Um, I've just wanted to achieve a bit more. I wanted to have a, the betterment for our people and it's just satisfying. It's very satisfying uh, knowing that you're making a difference to somebody. Even if it's just a little difference. Will you see Blaine say hello from us? We will. He's just down in Waitawa at the moment. Oh, is he? Wow. Yeah, he's helping with the flood relief down there. If I go out with you, I can tell straight away that you're going to be a good warden. 
it's your, it's your heart. Because you'll go the extra mile just to help. You know, things can happen and you walk past. For me, it's stopping and going, you okay? Just giving a little bit of time to people, because that's all people want. But they're frozen, so if we give them out, we have to tell them they've been frozen, they need to be used straight away? Yeah. Okay. This will go well with our um, island yeah, families. Yeah, yeah. Big pot. Okay. There's a lots of times that we can't help. The warners that are here on the day, we'll all pitch in a couple of dollars and off the pack and say they'll go and get some noodles and some bread and butter and milk. Maybe we could actually even donate some to the school. Yeah, like yeah. apples. Yeah. If it's babies, we'll make sure that they've got nappies and baby milk powder. So that comes out of the warden's pockets. Kia ora. How are you? We're just delivering your parcels from the Māori wardens. The Tamaki community, they, they love the wardens. Do they eat the porridge? The New Zealand breakfast. They want wardens in here all the time. They love just seeing wardens walking around, helping. Sometimes we, you know, we get asked, um, they want to buy our manakitanga. You know, and it's, we're looking at them like, oh, you can't buy that, but yeah. You know, they want us to teach them aroha kitatanga to manakitanga. Oh, yeah, just check it on top. Check it on top. <gasps> I don't want you to say to Steve, oh, my arms and shoulders are so <laughs> steep. I need yeah, a massage. Mm. For me to make sure that our wants are going for another 150 years, it's about training our rangatai, making sure they've got a foundation to be on and to carry on. That's all our future is, is our rangatahi. My biggest highlight of my Māori Warden career is I had two granddaughters and they've become Māori Wardens. And one became a Māori Warden at 16 and the other one became a Māori Warden at 17 years age. And they love it. Are you sure? It's heavy? Yeah, it's OK. OK. Thank you. If they're taught the right way, have a good day. Kia pai tora, ano. They'll do it the right way. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of these videos and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.